Hey guys, welcome back. In these next few videos, we would like to run you through the updates that we have made to the Link app for the new Addis update. Let's begin. In this video, we will be discussing the Advanced Roast Details function, which is new in the Preference menu. This function is designed to factor in aspects of user preferences into the solution process. This function will look to evolve with subsequent version releases to accommodate more user inputs for personalized suggestions. But for the Addis update, its primary function is to find out how much green coffee the user is planning to load into the roaster so that the right amount of heat can be accounted for. This is important if we want to achieve the same roast plans for the same coffees, but we are using the variable batch size feature. It is important to note that this function is designed to work in combination with any other preferences selected and can always be left on if wanting to factor in batch size into the algorithm, regardless of what other preferences are activated at the same time. So, let's turn advanced roast details on and look to get a new sample entry suggestion. We'll select our roast style then proceed to enter in volume by weight density and process of the coffee and click done. Before our solution population is made, you will now see one last user input. This is a request for your batch size you plan to roast. The first selection is, if you are roasting 100 to 90 grams of coffee. The second selection is, if you are roasting 89 to 70 grams of coffee. The last selection is, if you are roasting 69 to 50 grams of coffee. Whichever range we select results in a different power curve being suggested. This ensures that roast plan timings match the batch size being loaded for the same roast style, density, and process. For the 100 to 90 gram selection, we see power curve 207 being recommended. For the 89 to 70 gram selection, power curve 207.5 is recommended. And for the 69 to 50 gram selection, power curve 208 is recommended. So why does this occur? Well, the goal of this is to ensure that the applied heat matches the self-generated heat from beam to beam contact. In a nutshell, the base of the theory is in larger batch sizes. There is more self-perpetuated heat transfer from a higher mass of beans in contact with each other, meaning less applied heat is needed. On the opposite end of the scale, in smaller batch sizes, there is less heat being transferred from bean to bean contact in the smaller mass of coffee being roasted. So, to compensate, more applied heat is needed to achieve the same roast timings. I know that all sounds a little complex to understand, but there is no need to be worried. Just be confident that the Link algorithm has you covered to make intuitive roast decisions for you. And that is a wrap. As always, happy roasting.